Good morning. Today I'm doing a project project <laughs> in the laundry room. And the reason is I have these little cheap bamboo uh, stick shades that go on one of my, um, actually two, the two windows of the uh, entryway to my house. In the summer, you know, it gets really hot here, so just uh, keeping strong light out is a must. But the strong light deteriorated this blind cord, and it's just, you know, a mess, and I have two of them. This is what happened to it. <laughs> it's a real yuck. Anyway, so I went to Hobby Lobby. I went to Walmart, and they didn't have any blind cord, and and all the little rat cord and parachute cord they had, none of it was the right diameter. So I didn't want to go with one smaller because then maybe these grip things wouldn't grip it. So I ended up getting uh, this paracord, this one here. It's 25 feet, and this is the one I got. 1151406. Hopefully, you'll just go online and do the smart thing and buy actual real blind cord. So, I thought somebody might want to know how to thread these things. <laughs> anyway, you start on the back where you can just tie a knot in the hole. I just did like a slip knot, put it on there like that, and hopefully, that'll stick. You might want to put a little bead of hot glue on there to keep that on. And then you go down the back of the cord. And you come around. I rolled mine up. These are only going to be a three foot window, uh, about 40 something inches. Roll your blind up at the bottom and make it easy. You bring the cord up to the top again. And this is on this side. You just go through this little wheel thing. Go up and you go over the wheel. There's a little wheel in there. And you go along to the other side. There again, you go. You can stick it through this hole right here. Let me show you. Okay, I got the teeth in the open position, like, you know, back this way. Not gripping, but back this way. You stick it through this slot, and then come out this way and take the tip of your string and go down, straight down through the teeth. And on this one, I put it, there's actually two slots on that roller in there. I don't think you can see that, but let me move this. You might be able to. I didn't think about it until I'd already done it, that it might be of use to someone else. Uh, can you see down in there how that roller has a little divider? So there's actually two slots. So this one that's coming over from this side, you take it and put it, let's see, on the first slot. The slot that's in the front, and then you go down through the teeth. Then you just pull it out and then insert it down this way. Okay, so you pull it all the way through, and then the next thing you do is you get the end of the cord, and you come back up through the teeth, up to the top like that, up through the hole and to the top, and then back down, and this time you're going to go to the other slot. So you got the two ropes in there. This one comes out. Keep that open still. Now what you do is pull, this is going to be your pull, this, this double piece is going to be your pull, the thing that pulls it up and down when you're finished. So pull up some slack, I'm going to put it on my shoulder. And pull this, keep the teeth open, and pull that one out, Doesn't have to, you don't have to pull it much. And then go around and roll my blind up some more, go around your blind. Pull that one up back to the back, and here's your other, pull it up to the back, and then this is your other hole to tie this end in, whatever I did with it, here it is. So you tie that into that. So I pulled about 40 inches of string, just put my ruler stick over there, approximately, it doesn't have to be exact, 40 inches of string on this side, away from the thumb latch thing. Now I need to pull the same thing through this side with that tab thing open. Oops. 
This is all approximate. It doesn't have to be exact. That's a little bit too much. So I'll just bring some back. Pulling the wrong string here. This part's not as easy as you would think it is. It might be easier with the correct cord. saw what I did. So we got a knot there, go all the way around, over this wheel, over here, go through and down through that, and then just make a loop with your, what's going to be your pull part, just make a big loop. Come back with the other end, up, over the wheel and down, behind the cord, and tie to here. Now you're done. So what I'm going to do is hang my blind. So I hooked it up there, you know, on the hooks that goes right through those little hanging brackets. It works pretty good. You just work it like any other blind. It's all fixed now. And one thing I'm going to do is go get the wooden pull, the little wooden knob that goes on the end. You're supposed to have it in two, and I might uh, readjust this a little bit. No reason for it to be any much longer than that. I'm just gonna let it rest like that. Usually in the summer, I just let it rest right in there. I do think I would prefer cotton string than this stuff. But I think it's gonna work, you know, for a season. I mean, for $2.99. <laughs> okay, let me go get that knob.